I'm Miss Pam. I'm from the city of Fairfax Regional Library and today we're going to be making mobiles. Now this is a craft project that you can do at home with materials that are easily available to you and I'm going to show you how you can do it. You're going to need first from your house some kind of string. Um, beading string or thread is fine though it's a little harder to tie. Twine um, is perfect, um, easy to tie, just looks great on the mobiles. Um, yarn will also work great. You might look for um, neutral colors like this kind of light brown or light blue. The white can be a little bright, but anything will do fine. You'll need a pair of scissors, any kind will do. You're just going to be using a cat's string. Um, might be good to have glue on hand. You might not need it, but it's good for some of the projects we'll do later. Everything else you're going to be able to find outside. The thing you'll need to start with though is a stick and we're looking for one that's about a foot so long. Then this is a little thing thinner than my pinky finger. Um, it won't break easily. I'm not trying really hard but I can tell it has a little bit of bend to it. It's not snapping off. This is perfect. There's a little bit of curve to it. Mostly straight. Um, here's another two examples. They're about the same size. It'd be great if you pick up two because you might use them together. These are a little curved. That's fine. Those will work just fine. The other thing you're going to want to find outside is what you're going to put on your mobile. And that can be just about anything that you'll find outside. You're going to want to stay away from things that are like live, like flowers um, or um, leaves because they'll probably die on your mobile. But you'll look for things like mulch, seed pods. You might find an interesting branch, pine cone, some sticks. Um, for the one I'm going to show demonstrate, I have a couple of pine cones. And I found this kind of interesting looking stick. Um, I also found kind of this bundle of sticks. There's a little bunch of sticks that I thought looked cool together in a bundle. And then kind of this straight carved out stick that I thought was cool. So what you're going to do is take your stick, take your twine, cut off a piece, and tie a knot around your object. You want to tie a double knot to uh, make sure that it stays on. You can also use a little glue to keep the knot on it after it's already tied to make sure that it stays on well. So here I'm going to go through with one knot and then another. So then we're going to take this. I've already kind of decided where I want them. I want one pine cone at one end and one at the other. So we're going to start at the ends and move in. You can take it here, wind it around once, makes it a little easier to keep it in place. And then tie it on with one knot and two knots. You're going to do that all the way down your mobile working from the outside into the middle. Um, I'll show you what I did on the mobile I already made so you can see how that would look. So on this one, I did sticks on one end, a pine cone, seed pod, some mulch, an interesting branch. I used a twist tie in the middle. I used that to help see where the balance was. And when I put the, this in there and to look at the balance, I realized that my balance is off. These sticks are heavier than I thought. So what I might be able to do then is take something else, put it on the other side. Maybe I can balance that out. I can also move these a little bit. Sometimes moving them will also affect the balance so that it will be a little more balanced. So that's how you can balance it. And if that's where you stop, you will have a really nice mobile with about five objects on it. That'll be really pretty to look at. But if you'd like to keep going, I'd like to show you some ways you can kind of make this craft even a little more interesting and challenging for you. You took, got that second stick. You can start making a mobile with that one and put it on top of the other. And then you kind of get this cross mobile, which is a little more interesting. Now this second one that I brought out uses some new techniques that weren't in the other one. I still used a lot of things from nature but I kind of changed them. So this one I painted blue on the bottom. This one I painted kind of a light green, um, tied it with another one. This one a white pine cone. And this one I did wrapped with yarn. So I'm going to show you how to wrap a stick with yarn if you'd like to do that. 
you can take any of the sticks that you're interested in. You can tie it to the top and put some glue down here and then just wrap all the way down. If it's glued on nicely, then you can just hang it right from that hanger right there. If you'd like to look for some things around the house, you can do that too. You may find that you have um, some things like, uh, this is a pipe cleaner. You might be able to add to your mobile if you'd like it. I found a few silk flowers. Um, here's just some fabric that was left over from a project. We could use that. But one of the best things to use is paper towel rolls. I cut this one in half and then in pieces in little circles. And then using those circles, so just cut a circle off of it. And using those circles, you can wrap it up in foil and then have a kind of a sparkly part for your mobile if you like that. You can see if that's used same um, yarn wrapping technique and wrap it around and inside the circle. So you get this really kind of cool look that you can hang from your mobile as well. You also can just take the circle apart, kind of cut it a little bit, and I cut it and I made some kind of interesting shapes with this. So now I have some little kind of shapes of you. So those are things you can add to it. You can also look around your house for maybe some colored cardboard. Um, you can cut the cardboard, kind of add some interesting shapes and colors to your mobile. You may be fortunate enough to find a bookmark that you can use. Now with all of that ready and you've made your second mobile with maybe four or five things on it, you can put the two together. So you can use the twist tie to tie the two of them together. And again, you're gonna wanna check on the balance. So we, we twist these two together and then we're kind of looking for the balance. And then you can move them around until you get a better balance. And when you're happy with it, you can take some string and wrap that around and tie it to hang it up. Now you can leave it kind of wide X like this, a wider mobile. You can also tie it if you like a little more compact. So this is a narrower X. If you want, you can even just make it a wall hanging can hang it from the sides or you can either hang the string from here and then just kind of let the two pieces go like that. So that is how you can make a mobile with things that you can find outside and around your house. I hope you enjoyed um, watching this. I hope you'll make something that you really like and I really can't wait to see you back in the library. Bye bye. <laughs>